to let you know something that you don't know. You know. There is no place in the Bible where God said that Christians should date. You can search from Genesis to Revelation, you will never see any place in the Bible where the Bible said that Christians, where God spoke and said that Christians should date. You know, I told you, I said, dating is not for Christians. Dating is not for people who are ve who are ready to preserve their ma marriage. If you really want to preserve your marriage, you want to get married, you want to preserve the future of your marriage, one of the things you must not do is that you must not date. Someone <laughs> is angry, but don't worry. And do you see, some of you go to sites in the Bible, you say, Jacob, dated uh, Rachel, but that's a lie. Now, do you know that Jacob did not date Rachel in Genesis chapter 29? What happened was that there was a commitment. Jacob wanted to marry Laban's uh, daughter, and then he ended up marrying the first daughter instead of marrying the second one that was his church. And then Laban told him, he said, you are going to serve me for seven years, and then I'm going to give you my daughter Rachel. But do you know what? There was a commitment. So if there was a commitment, it was not dating. Now in dating, there's no commitment. Some of you said in in, in Matthew chapter 1, you see the case between Joseph and Mary. Joseph and Mary did not date. Now if you read that place in Matthew chapter 1, you will notice that what the Bible used there was the word espoused that's what the, the word that was used or you, another word that was also used in place of espoused is the word betrothed now guess what that word means commitment they were committed now two of them were already engaged in that same scripture the verse after verse 24 you notice that the bible called called uh, jo joseph the husband of mary so they, 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 they were already almost married at the point that they could, they could make babies. So that is not dating. dating. You know, dating is a casual relationship where a young man and a young lady decides to get to know themselves and see if they, they can get married. But guess what? Each time a, a man and a woman comes together, emotions are involved. You, you, you don't just get a, a, a young lady and then you tell her, let's just see how it will work. And then you, you, go, you go in and get involved in one or two things, draw her very close to yourself, only for you to, for, for you to abandon her, only for you to throw her out. Guess what? When it comes to dating, dating does not involve any commitment. But when it comes to marriage, slash, when it comes to courtship and marriage, it involves a commitment. So you see, that's the reason why dating is very dangerous. Let me tell you something. Someone might say that this is 21st century, and because it's 21st century, we should not ex expect uh, the way people uh, got involved in marriage in the 20th century to apply in the 21st century. Let me tell you something. We must have just one world view. Our world view is the scriptures. The Bible is what we hold to for everything we do as Christians, we don't use any other thing, any other yastic. The Bible should be your yastic. And there is no place in the Bible where God said that Christians should date. You know, let me tell you something. Dating is a very dangerous game. 
when you are done dating in that a man and woman, by the time you come out of dating, you will never remain the same again. You find out the man, the man is disillusioned, the man it feels that if this is what marriage is going to look like, I don't think I'm, pre- I'm ready for it. The lady is, is dirty, is wounded, and heartbroken. God never designed it so. There's a better way to get married. And uh, you need to know about it. Now, guess what? With all these dating stuffs, all this dating game, why is it that there is a high rate of divorce globally? There's a high rate of divorce in this country. A lot of young people are getting married and divorcing with all their dating. Just in the U.S. alone, in 2018, it was recorded according to statistics that, that there were over 782,000 divorces just in just one year. It was almost hitting one million. Guess what? But they dated. Most of them dated. And it all ended up in divorce. Now, can I tell you something? There is a better way to get married. And you need to know it. A lot of you are afraid of getting married. You don't need to be afraid. There's a better way of getting married. Now, can I tell you something? (laughs) If you can show me in the Bible where God said that Christians should date before marriage, I will give you a thousand dollars. Because I know what I'm saying. God never authorized Christians to date. And if you go through dating before you get married, you're going to hurt yourself. Your your, your marriage, the future of your marriage is going to be very bleak. 